In this video, I'm going to show you how to thread your needle and tie a knot at the end of a double thread. So if you go ahead and put your needle in your non-dominant hand, and you want to make it so that you can see through the eye of the needle, um, and then that's also kind of aiming towards your other hand that's holding the thread. Um, notice when I hold my thread to put it through my eye of my needle, I don't leave a long floppy edge like this and try to thread it. Um, it's gonna be a lot harder to do it that way. So if you pull your thread back and just hold it right at the end of the thread, you will have much better luck. Go ahead and pass the thread through the needle. And then you're going to match the two ends of your thread. I have one end here one end here. I'm going to put them together as if they were one and then I'm going to straighten out the remainder of my thread. So now I have my needle at one end and the two ends at the other. Go ahead and pinch those two ends in your dominant hand and put a finger or two out on your other hand depending on how big you like your loop to be. Wrap it around your fingers where that X is, that's where you pinch to hold it down. Pull the loop off of your fingers. So now you have a loop and a tail, and then take that tail and pass it back to front through the loop. You could go ahead and just pull that tight, but you'll notice that there's quite a bit of a tail here. And if I pull it here, my tail's gonna get even longer. So if you um, kind of slide it towards the end of your thread as you pull it tight, then you will waste less thread and you will have more thread for stitching before you need to tie an end knot and get a new thread. Um, at the very end here, you wanna leave just about a quarter of an inch of thread. So trim it and the tail can go in the garbage. So now you have a knot, a double thread with your needle at the other end.